Eyewitness News is everywhere. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 5.30. A controversial plan in New Haven could mean the police may not come when a burglar alarm goes off. Good evening and thanks for tuning in. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. The police are tired of responding to false alarms. They say it's wasting time and money. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Leon Collins is live with the mobile newsroom at New Haven City Hall where leaders will take up that issue tonight. Leah? Well, Dennis, New Haven police are proposing what they call a verified response policy. What that means is that an officer will not respond to where an alarm is sounding until police have spoken with someone who is actually at the crime scene. Larry Mariko says he's concerned about the verified response policy. He worries that if companies have to hire more people to monitor alarm systems in New Haven, he won't be able to afford one. Meanwhile, a company in Plainville offers the type of response New Haven police want. The alarm systems can instantly verify situations requiring a response, although they're relatively new. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dan Kane talked with the company that sells them and a woman who owns one. By hitting it again, if anything opens, Front door open. and if I go open the kitchen slider, it'll... Teresa Maselli swears by her alarm system, which not only tells her when and where there is a problem, Intrusion detected. Intrusion detected. Kitchen slider. But also listens to see if there is a problem in the house, and if it hears nothing, it contacts the homeowner. Safe and sound of Connecticut, may I get your password? With microphones and speakers in the house, the company can instantly check the status of a situation and, if necessary, contact authorities. There's a 30 to 45 second delay when we listen for threatening audio. If they hear threatening audio, they'll dispatch immediately without even calling. Dispatch whom? The police. Phil Cassano, who designs and installs these systems, says they offer everything other alarm companies have with the added advantage of a human being on the other end as opposed to a computer. Say, for example, if someone falls in the home and needs help. We'll come over. This is safe and sound. Is everything all right? No, I twisted my ankle. Call my daughter at work. Or my chest hurts. Call an ambulance. And we will stay with her until action is had. Miss Maselli, do you need assistance? No, everything's fine. Thank you. Have a good day, ma'am. So you feel safe? I feel safe and sound. There are only a couple of companies that offer this system in Connecticut right now, but I suspect before long there will be more. In Burlington, Dan Kane, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Now the company Safe and Sound says the recruitment costs about the same to install as other alarm companies and the monthly fee is about $30.